This week on DeerHunterFan.com TV. And um, if it wasn't for Insane Archery, right here, Insane Archery Camera Bow Mail, I promise you. Yeah. Good Arkansas bow. Rain, not easy. Our number one hit list buck. All right, so here we are. We got him this morning. I'm Bob Weibel with DeerHunterFan.com TV, and welcome to this week's hunt. And remember, no matter the size of the horns or the length of the beard, you can't kill them from the couch. DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by Bee Stinger, Gold Tip. Timberland Realty Ridge Runners Guide Service Insane Archery Longhorn Fab Shop Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters Vapor Trail And also by these fine sponsors Until you've been there, you can't tell the story. Once most have been there, all they can do is tell it. But if you capture it, you can show it. Forever. Visit InsaneArcher.com to get your camera bow mount and capture the hunt. Strutters, bringing you sound from around. Find us on Facebook or visit us on the web at www.strutterswithaz.webs.com. Ridge Runners Guide Service offers hunts in Kansas and Missouri. Only a limited number of mature bucks are harvested off of a property each year. With this low pressure and high amount of acreage available for you to hunt, you're guaranteed ample opportunities for trophies. Be sure to visit RidgeRunnersGuideService.com to view pictures from past hunts, rates, and get in contact with them to plan your next hunt. Fab Shop. Power through anything. Hi, I'm Brian Nassim with Darren Fan Com TV. And I'm Travis Olmstead. And this week we're going to focus on one of our sponsors, Insane Archery. And we're going to look at the product they offer, their Insane Archery Bow Camera Mount. 
All you gotta remember to do is press record and you'll capture the hunt. <laughs> it mounts right on your bow, it's easy to use, and we're gonna jump right into some action with Bob Weibel down in Arkansas. Welcome to your hunter fan on Tom TV. Uh, I'm trying to be a little quiet. Um, uh, last night, uh, I came in here and put an observation stand on a new piece of property and uh, snuck in here this morning and seen some deer leaving on the back side of this field. It's a new piece of property I just got that the farmer wants does killed at. Um, a lot of white oaks in here and this morning I filmed a little eight aspiring with a, a little spike and I was able to rattle my horn just a little bit and grunt just a little bit. And, I ended up getting within 60 yards, but just too far to take a shot at. So uh, it's really early, it's only 3 o'clock. Uh, we've got a front moving trim, and I just carried about 40 pounds of gear in here. Uh, I slipped in here with a climber, and uh, when I slipped in here with a climber, I carried camera arm, everything in one shot, set free. I uh, did have to cut a few branches on this tree, but. Uh, trail coming right up this ridge right here. All them deer went in this morning. So that's how we're going to sit here tonight and see. Uh, I don't know how well. I mean, you want to talk about sweat. It was humid, and it's still pretty humid. You can see the wind blowing, and even though it's 3 o'clock, it looks really dark. Uh, there's one more little rain shower coming through, and I'm hoping it's not too hard enough to, you know, get into camera. But, Stay with us, we're going to say it. This is fun. We're back in Arkansas, left Kansas last week. Uh, Brian, he's up in New York hunting. Uh, I don't know who else is out there, but I know Brian's after that tall lake. And I'm after just whatever comes through. We're going to do some dough managing for this, this gentleman here. So, stay with us. three does come in right underneath my stand. Uh, that's a shot I don't like right straight down under like that, but it's pouring rain, and rather than ruin my camera, I went ahead and took it real fast so I can at least get the footage. Uh, she dropped right there, she's dead. I mean, it killed her instantly right through the shoulder blades. First doe down in Arkansas, but this rain stays up, it's only four o'clock, I'm just gonna go ahead and stay put in my stand and see what happens, but right now I'm gonna put this camera away. Well, it's the second morning out here on this new piece of property that I was that I harvested the dough in the pouring rain last night. And as I was afraid of, the uh, camera's been shutting off all morning. I got it pretty wet. Um, I was able to harvest a buck just a couple hours ago now. Uh, came in right underneath my stand just like uh, the does did last night. And uh, if it wasn't for insane archery, right here insane archery camera bow mount I promise you uh, I looked at this and I got the shot on this camera right here because this one didn't shut off 
So for those of you who want to film your hunt but don't want to carry these bigger equipment in and take a chance of ruining a camera, bring this right here and buy this mount right here. Very inexpensive, good to watch. Um, he went behind me. It's hard to see him from here, but with my binoculars I can see him. He's down, he's dead. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get down now. And uh, there's no tracking again, just like the does last night. Arkansas Pretty good trial time. Not too bad. Filmed on my own. Uh, there's my arrow right there. Right here. Broke it clean off. I knew he had carried it off with him, but I wasn't sure where he carried it. But Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is located in Coshocton, Ohio. If you're serious about hunting mature whitetails, Ohio is one of the best places in North America. Trophy deer hunting takes plenty of productive land and minimal hunting pressure. With over 8,000 private acres, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is the ideal place for your next trophy. Visit them on the web at ohiotrophybuck.com. You don't have to go to Illinois, Iowa, Kansas. We've got the same caliber of deer right here. Strutters, bringing you sound from around. Find us on Facebook or visit us on the web at www.strutterswithaz.webs.com. Fat Shop. Power through anything. Every so often in the field, you're presented with an opportunity to make your dreams come true. Write memories and to capture the hunt forever. To capture your hunt with the insane archery bow camera mount is seen on DeerHunterFan.com TV. So as you can see, now you gotta remember that on both these hunts Bob was, was using a regular camera on a tree arm too, but during his buck hunt his camera malfunctioned due to it getting so wet during his doe hunt. And if he didn't have this insane archery bow camera mount, we would have been left with no footage of him harvesting that great deer in Arkansas. So it's a real good thing he had that just as a backup plan. But also you can see the, the, the greatness of it just having it as your, your only camera if you're just out there trying to capture a shot by yourself. This next hunt, we're heading to New York during late October. And then we're going to show you some clips of how we have used this camera in our first angle or as a second angle camera. I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV and we're going deer hunting. Brother. Well here it is, October 22nd. Just got in the tree for this afternoon's hunt this morning. Hardly no deer movement at all. Ron seen one nice seven point young deer we're not going to shoot him came by him we got a ton of trail cam pictures of him i've never hunted in this area big bedding area back there i know they bed in there too it's pretty thick across this ravine creek down behind me little stream running down this ravine beside me they cross this ravine and they walk the, the edge of it Hoping to catch a nice buck. 
doing that. I also have a doe tag I'm not scared to fill, so. baby <coughs> oh god I'm breaking my camera here Jeez. <laughs> yes smoke city let me just get another arrow on here she came right down the trail I oh, don't know that's probably like 20 yards 20 yard pin right on her. I drilled her, man. I drilled her. I think I went in. Oh, I see my arrow laying there. I think I hit her far shoulder. The arrow popped right back out. We got good. It might even went all the way through because it looks like it's blood all the way up to the white by the fletchings. But it is early, so we're going to set here. Alright, All right, so, so we found, found her. her. She went one way, way she wound up in this, in this creek bottom. Made for quite a track job for us, but we finally got her. Now we'll get her taken care of. During this hunt, I was also able to capture the shot angle with the insane archery camera bow mount. So let's take a second now for the insane archery shot cam. Yeah.
Oh my dad, he's just gonna do it. That's going to do it for this episode. If you're interested in purchasing a camera bow mount, be sure to visit InsaneArchery.com. I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV. And I'm Travis Olmstead. We'll see you next time. DeerInterFan.com TV is sponsored by Bee Stinger, Gold Tip, Ridge Runners Guide Service, Insane Archery, Timberland Realty, Longhorn Fab Shop, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters, Vapor Trail, and also by these fine sponsors. And DeerHunterFan.com, an original online free hunting show.